Welcome to learn about clocks. Suppose the time is 3.30 and at this time we have to find the angle between hour and, and minute hand. At the time 3.30 the position of the hands will be at this position. You see? Now we have to find the angle between this hour hand and minute hand at time 3.30. So you see we have to find this angle theta. Now to make it easier to understand we extend these hands. So you see we are extending these hands so that it becomes easier for you to understand. Now, now we can we again see we need an angle. You see this. We have to find this angle from this from this position to this position. We need this angle. Now we again extend these points and these points. Now here you see again this whole angle, this complete angle can be divided into three parts. You see this angle, this angle and this angle. So here you see this complete angle is made up of three angle. This one, this one and this one. So to find this angle we find these three angles and then we will add these three angles and then we will get this complete angle. So first we find these angles. Now to find these angles we learn a new concept. You see this is a complete clock. A clock is what? It is a circle. You see you start from this position with we, we we rotate all around the circle and come to the same position again and we will have 360 degree. We know circle has 360 degree in it. So if you start from this position and come to this position again we have 360 degree and if you notice here we have gaps between the numbers. You see this is a gap between 12 and 1 and this is also a gap between 1 and 2. So we see all around the circle, I repeat, all around the circle we have gaps and if you count these gaps then you will find these are 12 gaps. So all around the circle we have 12 gaps and the angle for the circle is 360 degree. So we can say 12 gaps has 360 degree. So one gap will have 30 degree. So I can say Every gap is made up of 30 degree. So you see this is a gap. It is a gap between 12 and 1 and it will be of 30 degree. And similarly this is 5 and 6 and it is a gap between 5 and 6 and it will be of 30 degree. Again similarly this is a it is a gap between 3 and 4. It will be of 30 degree. So we can say you see this is also a gap between 5 and 6. So it will be of 30 degree. Again you see this angle. Notice this angle. It is also a gap between 4 and 5. So it is also of 30 degree. Now we have find out that these two angles. Now we have to find these, this third angle. Now to find this third angle we have to take a reference time that is 3 o'clock. You see 3 o'clock. We take this reference time and we draw the hands, the position of hands at this time. So you see. At 3 o'clock 
द हैंड्स विल बी एट दीज पोजिशन एज शोन बाय दिस कलर नाउ इफ यू नोटिस आफ्टर थर्टी मिनिट्स नाउ कंसिडर द टाइम इज थ्री ओ क्लॉक दैट इज थ्री ओ क्लॉक एंड आफ्टर थर्टी मिनिट्स दिस हॉवर एंड विल गो फ्रॉम दिस पोजिशन टू दिस पोजिशन यू नोटिस इन in 30 minutes this minute hand is covering this distance and this minute hand is going from this position to this position and if we talk about hover hand then in 30 minutes this hover hand which was present at 3 o'clock and it is at this position in 30 minutes it will this hover hand will go from this position to this position now we again now we have to find this angle you see we extend these points now again you if you observe this is a gap between 3 and 4 so it is again a 30 degree angle now if now we will find this angle suppose this angle and and then we will minus this angle from 30 then so that we will find the angle this now to find this angle we again learn a new concept you see we suppose this is a hover hand now suppose it is present on 12 o'clock okay then in 60 minutes this hover hand will go from this position to this position from 12 to 1 and we know the gap between 12 and 1 is 30 degree so i can say in 60 minutes this hover hand is going from this position to this position or i can say this hover hand in 60 minutes is going is covering 30 degree so in 60 minutes this hover hand is co covering 30 degree so in 1 minute it will cover half degree you remember this point in 1 minute it will cover half degree so we come to our question again now we have to find this angle you notice this hover hand is moving from this position to this position after 30 minutes and we know in 1 minute you see in 1 minute hover hand cover half degree so in 30 minutes in 30 minutes it will cover 15 degree so while moving from this position to this position it will cover 15 degree so this is a 15 degree angle can you see yes so it is a 15 degree angle now we minus this 15 degree from 30 we will get 15 degree so this is a 15 degree angle now we have found out all these three angles you see this is 30 it is 30 and it is 15 and we need this complete angle so we add all these angles 30 plus 30 plus 15 it is 75 so this angle is 75 degree so i can say the angle between hover hand and minute hand at the time 330 is 75 degree i write it here 75 degree and this is our answer i hope you have understood this thanks for watching